Well, tax preparation is in full swing essentially. Most of us have our W 2s and other necessary statements. And Peggy Biesterfeld with Peggy's Tax and Accounting in Topeka stops by to offer some good advice. Good afternoon, Peggy, and thanks for being here. Oh, good afternoon, David. Well, one of the biggest questions that I've heard is for those that didn't get that second stimulus payment. How can they actually get that when they file? They can. Um, we put. We we are required to put on where the, the stimulus that they have gotten, and if they haven't gotten all of it or haven't gotten any of it, it should be in their refund when they get it on their 2020 tax return. Now, what so information uh, must a taxpayer have? I mean, before starting this process, we've talked about a little bit of this before, but it's got to be pretty frustrating to kind of get things started and then constantly have to contact somebody. So what should somebody really have together? They should have all of their income statements, anything they think might pertain to their tax return, whether it does or not. I myself would rather get more information than not enough. Um, so anything they think is pertinent. W-2s, 1099s, uh, 1098s, um, 1098s, and just general information. It's, yeah, um, the worst thing is to come in not prepared. Um, and it's another visit to the tax person with the regular, inf the other information. So, and last year's tax return would be helpful if we're new clients. So, but they should get it all together first. And then lastly go today, an old re oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yes. No, that's okay. You're fine. All right. What about uh, dependents? I mean, I've got a 24-year-old daughter myself, a college student, uh, but it seems kind of odd that, you know, some of these dependents are living on their own, trying to make ends meet, not really getting anything, but parents can still benefit. But there comes a time where that gets cut off. What is that? It's a, well, it's about time for your daughter to be cut off. Right. Um, usually we, <laughs> at 24, they're usually, if they're still in college, you can still claim them. But they're usually probably working a part-time job, and they will not get the stimulus if they don't file their own tax return. And they, if they didn't get it and they file their own tax return this year, they should get their portion of the stimulus, the new one anyway, the $600 one. So I, I, would, I would recommend if they're 24, like yours, if they have a job of some sort, they should file on their own. All right. Even though it'll cut you off, David, I'm sorry. Oh, that's <laughs> fine. All right, Peggy, we're going to check in again next week, and we'll have questions. If you have something that you want answered, you can actually contact Peggy personally, and that website, again, is PeggysTaxKS.com. PeggysTaxKS.com, and then we'll get to those in future segments.